the reason I'm here is I've written a book called The Song Machine, and the first hundred pages is about Swedish producers, beginning with Dennis Pop, the person who started Sharon, and following through Max Martin, and basically explaining why Swedish songwriters and producers have conquered the American pop markets. So that's I'm here to meet some of the people that I wrote about, meet more people, and celebrate Swedish music. How did you find the ceremony this afternoon? I was very moved by it, actually. I thought the ceremony was very touching. I, Emmy Lou Harris has been a, an artist that I've loved since I was a teenager. That song, Love Hurts, I'm sure I had a lot of romantic breakups and listened to that song, <laughs> Love Hurts, and it made me feel better. So it was lovely to see her and hear her talk about her past and the people who helped her. Also, Graham Parsons is a person that meant a lot to me growing up, and he died so young. It was really cool to hear her talk about him 40 years after his death on a stage in Sweden. That was very meaningful for me. Has Stickan Andersson and ABBA had any influence on you? Certainly I listened to ABBA when I was a kid and love it. And now I have my own children and they love ABBA. Uh, we put on Dancing Queen and Dance Around. We, we went to the ABBA Museum on our last visit to Sweden and we all got ABBA t-shirts and we wear them around and absolutely love. And the, of course the movie and the musical, ABBA's a big part of our lives. We love ABBA. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.